Hey guys, thank you all for joining me for another installment of Marco Luxury. Marco Luxury. Today we're talking discount, discount, discount divers. Oh, look, who we got we've got our good friend, Mr. Horological Freddy Krueger, by far the best account on all of the tubes. We love Horological Freddy Krueger. We love him. We absolutely love him. Guys, obviously, Archie is not here today. So I'm bringing you the live stream reporting from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's going to post a link in the chat. The link is in the chat for the good fellas to come on. We're talking discount divers. Before we begin, I just got something in today. I don't know if you can see. It's actually a Mirage watch roll. I got the two watch roll. Got the Pam in here. It's got the sub on the wrist, of course. It's actually quite nice for the money. I mean, considering what I paid for it because I had some Amazon gift cards, I think it's fantastic. You can't go wrong with this. It's perfect. Perfect travel watch roll right here. Mirage Luxury. I'm not sponsored, unfortunately. Neither is Archie. But We're talking divers, discount divers. Do you need a discount diver in the collection? In the collection. What do I think? What do I think? I think that Archie definitely, definitely, definitely does not need a discount diver in his collection. Why would you add a tutor? You would have to have rocks in your head to add a tutor in his current collection. There we go. It's Archie Luxury Night in Canada. we got Logan Hall. If you're not already a member, join now, Fikers. That's right, guys. Archie has just implemented... The membership platform, guys, it would help Archie tremendously if you can super chat. Of course, like the video. Make sure you're upvoting. Make sure, of course, you're subscribing. And make sure, if you, of course, have the means to become a member today, there are different categories, so pay as you as you can. And, of course, make sure to super chat so Archie doesn't have to get a nasty jab. He doesn't have to get a jab. Poker Rich saying, I can not join through the iPhone app. Guys, at the end of the day, a Rolex man finds a way. Go to a computer lounge, go to your work, and make sure to become a member. Watches and Giggles asks, what's the cost, Marco? Well, there's different tiers. So I'm a bronze member because, guys, uh, not made of money here. You know what I mean? I just got this Rolex Submariner. So I have the lowest tier. It's, I believe, $4.99 a month. And at the end of the day, it does go a long way towards helping Archie Stay full time on the tubes. Stay full time on the tubes. We got our good friend, Mr. JJ LeCoup. Hello, everyone. Hello. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me on this wonderful day. How are we today? All is well. How are you? I am doing well. Thank you. So what's on the menu today, Marco? What is on the menu? We're Thank talking you. discount divers. Discount so divers. So but before we begin today, Marco, what happened? Some men, never, young men, never sleep, huh? No, 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 no. No rest Look for the week. We've got the Mirage watch roll. Go full screen, buddy. Go full screen. Let's show. Give the punters their money's worth. Let me tell you something, JJ. It's nice, but it ain't no Bosphorus leather, that's for sure. No, it's not even leather. Yeah, but the smell isn't too bad. You know, usually it's like a toxic leather smell. Yeah, they use that PU leather, it's called. It's like a like a synthetic leather. Right. Hang on, I'm just plugging in my... Uh... For the money, it's good. You know what I mean? I got the two-watch roll because I'll get a more luxurious three-watch roll. I want to have a five-piece collection, but two is perfect for when you're traveling, you know? You don't want to travel only with one watch. you got to have two. Correct. Pound the drum says, oh, bronze starts at $3.99 a month. See, even cheaper. So $4 a month to become a member. As little as $4 a month. Guys, as li that's, uh, let me see here. Look at this. See, we got this. a good friend. Horological, no, horological Freddy, Freddy Krueger's Krueger. back. JJ LeCoup made me buy a Bosphorus leather watch roll after I saw his. I couldn't get it out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they are pretty, they are gorgeous. Guys, for so, just 13.3 American cents a day, you can keep an Archie Luxury fed. Join bronze level. 
What do we think, JJ? Discount divers. Does Archie, Archie, Archie need a discount diver? No, he's crazy. I would keep keep the Explorer 2 as my beater because it's already marked up. And I would flip the 5196 to pay for the Birkin. Now, let me ask you about this roll here. Uh, how is it sliding in and out? Not bad? Because I yeah, saw a video like where the top is getting, like, ripped. Yeah, so my one fear is, like, I'll show you here. Like, yeah. it slides out pretty easily. You know what I mean? So you just right. you have to be careful when you open it. But overall, I mean, listen, for a rule that cost me all in $50 Canadian because of the Amazon gift card, I can't complain. You know what I mean? Right. Well, they make it loose because they don't want too much force. If you, if right. the bottom, if the bottom of that, you know, uh, that little divot gets pushes against the top slot, it's going to start peeling the fabric away. Like I like it because what's it called? There's also more than enough space, like between the watch and the, uh, right, and the end of it. So it's not going to scratch or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, nice. but overall, value for money. Not bad. It ain't Rolex quality, that's for sure. It no. ain't Rolex quality. Hey, just so you guys know, I got two new Bosphorus. I, they should give me a piece of the action over there, Bosphorus. <laughs> At least a discount um, code, something. You probably don't even know what this channel is, but uh, I got two. Uh, I got two new rolls coming. Of course, they're four piece rolls because I just can't help myself. No, you got to build out the collection. You got to fill the watch box and all the rolls, don't you? Well, I'm gonna. I bought an orange one. I'm gonna see how that works out. I think it's gonna be pretty funky, but um, hopefully it's a little more muted in person. It's not like a bright, like you know, traffic cone orange. But then I have another gray one coming. So I think uh, I think I'm gonna see which one I like better, either the alligator or the gray one, and possibly flick one off. We got our good friend, Birmingham from Merca. Burbing hard. How's it going, man? Pretty good, man. You got your uh, your pan right back, huh? Yeah, I got my pan back from service, and today I got my Mirage watch roll. There you go. Just in time to flick that thing. No! <laughs> I love it. the pan. Do you, you, do you even like it anymore, or is it... <laughs> lick it, lick it. That's what happens, huh? It's unbelievable, man. Yeah, like I put it on the wrist for like a couple, like I, I want to say like three hours after I got it. Yeah, from the service. Yeah. Uh, okay, enough of this on the wrist. Back to the Rolex. <laughs> it's spiked. I'm telling you, it's spiked. It's spiked. I know Rolex just like walks all over those lesser got, brands. Our good man from Britain, ABC. How are you? going on boys hello abc how are you hello abc welcome i'm good how's it going all is well yo hello, there's somebody in, in tim's uh chat i thought it was you it says uh, always been close always be closing i thought no, i no, thought no. you changed your name but i was like i don't think that's abc <laughs> style to do that we have jj lacoot guys look at this jj lacoot is a member is in fact a member guys for as little as what is it? Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. For as little as thirteen yeah. cents a day, you could feed a starving Archie. Please. That's join. right, guys. <laughs> as little as four dollars a month, you can become a member. Help Archie out. Make sure to super chat, because otherwise Archie has to get a job. He has to get a job. Look, even if you save hundreds from his advice and guidance, you're a winner. Ooh, look at this. We've got our good friend, Toyota Mo. Thank you so what much, up, Toyota Mo. The one and only, the man, the myth, the legend. Congrats, of course, on the brand new sermon. Super chat and upvote, Fikers. Marco, that's JJ, Burbinghard, what's up, my brother? That's, Dude, that's, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty jealous of his collection now. Ooh, <laughs> Tiffany, yeah. Blue OP. I, I'm going to do a collection review. You need to send me that updated photo, Toyota Mo, ASAP. I need to get that collection review done for you. Yeah, we're sermon bros now. He got that uh, Tiffany Blue... Uh, uh, OP though, I've been trying to get that since the day it came out. I went in my AD. Can you get me an OP? He says, "Sure." Which one do you want? I said, "The turquoise one." He's like, uh, "Good luck." <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much exactly what he said, and that was it. Uh, he's no, like, he's, uh, he said, "We'll see." So, he's he's a, a good example of someone building a collection adhering to the Don's advice, though. Right. Correct. Except he's not technically adhering because he built an AD relationship. Arch says, "Just buy him <laughs> pre-owned," right? <laughs> 
just buy them pre owned and forget the AD games. What Thanks video? Again. Can you pull up Danger for a second? I know he's not uh he's not green or anything, but I just want, I'm trying to see what he's uh right oh. the one that says uh JJ get with Mr. Two. What what video are you talking about, Danger? Oh. I'm not sure what video. Yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure either. Oh, look what we got here. We got our good friend Tim Wright. I just submitted that shit, guys. Oh, sorry. Oh shoot. <laughs> Just hit! I just hit the enter. <laughs> Boom! Not monetized anymore. Woo! Dang it, Tim! My God! You finished with James Joyce? <laughs> it was so painful. It was so painful. I've been doing it for the last six hours, pulling my hair out. Imagine you failed the class after all this. No, no, it's impossible. It's impossible. It's gibberish. You oh. can't fail. You can make anything up. It will make sense. You can make it work. You know, like how these projects in school, they're usually like. You read the book and then you just make something up. Mm -hmm. It's literally the whole book is made up. No, it's just it's just a bunch of so. <laughs> it's it's a bunch of vignettes that don't that arguably don't really go together, right? Yeah, it's supposed to be like a dream, like the book is supposed to be like a dream. So you know how dreams they're kind of incoherent. There's a lot of stuff happening. Yeah. So s s in reality, though, I think hmm. these chapters were all published separately like in periodicals and then just mush together. And it's like, Hey, this is a great piece of work. Like follow, follow along with this. And it's like, it really doesn't. I mean, he was really working on it well. for 17 years. Yeah, right? I know. And, and he was and, publishing kind of pieces and parts of it. Yeah. Yeah. So and when it was first published together, critics were like, no, this is garbage. And now u university instructors are like, look at the brilliance in this, this is genius. It's genius. Man, hey guys, James Joyce. I want to guy. take I want to take a different direction with the stream and talk about what we don't usually talk about: entry level discount watches. We're talking about real entry level, okay? Starting with Chuda. Chuda. Do we believe oh. that Paul or Archie Luxury should get a Chuda Black Bay Burgundy? And my yeah. answer is no. Absolutely. Oh, wait, what? It's almost cheap. It's almost free, though. It's so cheap. Oh, I, I see what Danger Will Robbins is saying. He's saying yeah. me, me and Mr. Two should make, make the, it like, 13 cents like, for only yeah, 13 cents a day. Right, like the so this video. is Christmas. Right. So, so not, what not to have make, you done? Not to make light of a bad situation, all the flooding and devastation that's happening in Australia. Oh, terrible. There is? Oh. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Whoa, there's heavy is rain. Yes. There's heavy rainfall, right? Yeah, near Sydney. Man, first Texas, now Australia. Jay Wright, tell us, is that pounds or is it euros, Tim? Go ahead. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, oh, oh it's pounds. There you go. $2 instant donation for swearing a swear box. Guys, <laughs> Thank you. a swear jar. Another swear one, jar. I, I swear, I, I saved or I shared this in our WhatsApp group, right? But another great discount watch. Look at this. This Longines tuxedo dial, I think, absolutely gorgeous. Very nice. What model is this one? It's called the Hold on, Longines Heritage Classic Tuxedo. Tim's getting It's super out. retro inspired. I love the look of it. I think it's perfect. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, you can't have $10,000 plus watches for every watch in your collection. You need a couple, you know. Watches that could take a beating. Watches that Long are is you're not afraid it to. with these designs, Marco. They're I think so these are gorgeous. Fucking amazing. So what like is happening? This, uh, some of these heritage ones, they look good from the top down, but when I've seen them in store, like the side profile, it looks like mm. like fugly. Like it's like they didn't do a very good job on the side profile on some of these. Mm. So if oh. you're able to pull them up, like. Yeah, like a side view on them. It's they're like, very guys, thick. They're on, like you fourteen just... millimeters. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Really? But but just not even designed well. So if you see like yeah, look at that. That's horrible. Really? No, that not that pick. The other one. That looks good. You know? That looks this good. Here? It looks, in the middle. It looks almost middle, like a paddock. Second row in the middle. Yeah. It looks, mm, it looks not good. Quite. It's just once you really start looking at it, it's like guys, come on. It's like, definitely you know on I mean? the like girthier. Have you held one of these, Burby? Uh, not that specific one, but, uh, you know, I mean, Longines being, and, and a lot of people don't realize, right? Like Longines, like the third 
what was it like the third best selling Swiss Swiss yes uh, watch company last yes. year. So they have them in like department stores. So I'll see them in like at least in West Coast. They'll be like Nordstrom stores. Yeah. And so there's there'll be these stores that will have like you know boutiques within boutique concept. Um, so I've seen quite a few Longines just there, and, and some of them it's like yeah, looking at it through the case looks awesome. Then you get it out in your hand, and it's like what you guys what are you guys doing? You know, like mm. just like missing on just that fine detail. Mm. You can't have it all. All of these pictures sure. though look freaking amazing. We got Louis four hundred three five dollars instead of the Chuda. Get a nice three watch Longines sub collection, guys. Longines wow. is actually cranking out. Maybe Some watch. amazing watches, and they have tremendous history way more history, in oh, my opinion. Marco, show that than watch. Shooter. They're, they're not cheap, in time. though. Hands like, in seconds, sub seconds. Yeah, so, no, no, no. I mean, sub seconds. They're not cheap. Oh, you want this one? Six this one is nice, too. Oh, huh? I like the one Bear showed that us. That, that one's awesome. Yeah, what's it called? The big guy. Know. It's Avigation Big Eye. A V. Uh, yeah, there you go. Big Eye, one word. Is it titanium? Uh, I, don't I don't think know. So. We'll find out. Well, you know. Yeah, this is the one. Ooh. Look at this. Another one. Dude. They're that not going to be That watch is retailing. 1157 any days. That watch is retailing for about 32 and change, but it's wow. very new. And guys, lest we forget, Longshin has tremendous history in the watch world. And they mm. are, in terms of like their share of the entire Swiss watch industry, they have the third highest sales. In the entire watch industry behind Rolex and Omega. Because they're very volume, big in right? Asia. They no, that, that, that's by that's history. by profit. So it's not units sold, it's right. like profitability. Correct. Correct. Because also they they also sell a lot in uh, in Asia. Longchain mm. is I'm pretty sure it's considered oh, yeah. like your first good luxury watch is long yeah. Oh, you know my wife's long jeans watch? We gave it to her niece in her Korea. Long jeans. Long jeans watch. Yeah, she had a long jeans uh, <laughs> ship. One of those. What are they called? Isn't that incredible? Look how nice that looks. Zoom and in on that again. All that the kids pops. love it. Okay, Doesn't okay. that just pop in the sunlight? Yeah, yes. it's a nice style. Nice Amazing. setup. You like the faux patina, though? Usually you're against that faux patina. You I think it what? looks awesome. I don't though. love it. I actually don't price. think it looks bad on this. I actually think it doesn't look that bad. Usually so I'm not a big fan of faux patina. You know that. Somewhere in Australia, Archie's head is exploding right now watching this stream. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, you can't have every watch in your collection be an absolute knockout. You want to have something a little different. You know what I mean? A little... That, that, but that's, not too different. Not too different. Like even this. Look at this. Just simple. Perfect. What, you know what, what I about mean? A clear, wow. What about a clear G-Shot? That's nice. You clear absolute <laughs> toxic <laughs> waste. Garbage. JJ, Garbage. you read my mind. <laughs> but guys, don't forget these watches that we're showing you. You don't buy unless they're at least thirty to forty percent off. At least that'd be awesome. You have to wait. You just have to wait. Listen, guys, I have to go because my wife will divorce me. I am no starving. Worries, I just popped in to say hello to the panel. Hello oh, to look, Jay, look, look, Marco, it's Tim's wife. Guys, yeah. Oh, tell us tell hello, we, Tim. Yeah, hello. tell her we say hello. Okay, hello, Mr. They say Tim. Hello to you. <laughs> we, we see you. We see you. All right, Tim. Go see, before she's already you get dressed. Divorced, she's dressed. <laughs> well, then Tim, go quickly. Then I'm gonna, go I'm gonna remove you quickly. Bye, go bye. make her a sandwich. Well done. Go make her a well sandwich. done on submitting your assignment, mate. <laughs> Look, right. Archie doesn't need anything. Archie's been there and done that with discount divers. I don't think he needs to go back again. Personally, man, he sold two Tudor Black Bay Burgundies. Right. If the kid takes them more two, get nothing. No, no, no discount. Right. One hundred percent. It's it's, it's, good one? it's one thing to like when you're starting off your collection, right? Where like you get that that Longines piece, right? Like a, a late teen, someone like going to university, like a Marco. It makes Make it makes complete it makes complete sense that you know what I mean that you end up getting like a Panerai, right? right. But then someone like Archie, that it's like, ah, is it uh, such a big step backward that he shouldn't do it? Right. And also, then when a guy like Marco, you know, gets his Panerai, he's happy with it. But then he gets a sub no date, and he refuses to flick it. It causes controversy. Listen, okay, I do love my Pam. I, I don't know if I can ever get rid of this watch. Oh, you okay. can. It's nice. It's 
good watch. It's nice. Somebody will really like it when you sell it to them. <laughs> speedy, Marco. Get a speedy. He don't like nah, the speedy. No. How this is another good speedy? one. Are you you got this one, right, Bourbon Heart? A Zin 104. What do we think about Zin? They're robust. okay. They're not, they're not terrible. Yeah, that's. I think they're a great starter watch. That one's a fantastic. I mean, that that one's cheap, cheaper than a lot of jeans. Um, and I think they're a little more solidly built in hand. Like these ones, actually, they feel pretty tough. Yeah, these are robust watches. I I say that this is honestly probably the best bang per buck field watch probably ever made. I'd get the one with the numerals, like you've got Bourbon Heart. Here, let me get it. Zen one of four. This you get it on a metal metal bracelet. So you got legibility. You've got a timing bezel, day date right. function. I mean, this is better than the IWC Mark series in terms of pilots. Well, in terms of like like everyday field watches. You know what I mean? If I couldn't get a sub, I would absolutely buy this. Like if it was way out of my range to get a sub, right? Th this is the this is the next best best option. There's no reason to spend more and get something in between. I would get this. I mean, this, maybe a Seamaster, maybe if you want to go up to five thousand. Right, and it's good. It's great. Like overall, bang for buck. I mean, they're using a top grade ETA movement. Listen, is it finished like a like a Patek Philippe or a Langen Zone? No, of course not. The dials are printed. Everything is machined and, and stamped out. But overall, the quality, huh. the build quality, the construction you get is amazing. And we got actually. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, Marco, uh, you also, if if you want to pull up the uh, Zen 105, sure, 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 the, sure, sure. the 105 and the 105 UTC for like a, if you're talking like an entry level GMT, I don't really know. I'm kind Ooh. of on the fence on, on if I like that dial or not. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about this bourbon hard. And what's the other one? UTC is in 105 UTC, right? That's that one is right the there. UTC. The UTC that's okay, just their okay. version the of one? a GMT. Yeah, it's just UTC time. So they have, yeah, they have a, a three hander and then they have a their UTC is a four hander. I don't know how I feel about this burping heart. We got Crisper Mike Frog two dollars. Fisted a new Super Ocean Heritage 242 Blue yeah, Shark Mesh for 2450. Hey, let me tell you something. That's that's my natural next one. Brightling. Super Ocean Heritage. You, you can't beat that for the price. You can't. Look at that, guys. How can you beat this? Are you talking the Heritage or Heritage 2? Heritage 2, he said. 42, okay. 42 millimeter blue. This is the one, right? Yep. Or do I have the if wrong it's one? a ceramic, yeah, it'll be the. Yeah, the, the Right. Yeah, first, first one is aluminum. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the first one was the, the aluminum. But that has the, the Tudor movement in it. Correct. Yes. With the uh, with the cheaper hairspring, right? Right. One thing that they could have did to make this watch better, just one thing, is make the date blue also with like a white writing instead of white with the blue writing. Yeah. Pet I quite like the contrast actually. Really. Mm. A lot of people do because it kind of looks like a like a marker, like one of the indices. It's, but yeah, it's not it's not as bad. On, on some watches, actually, I should say that they get away with it more when it's in a symmetrical position, like the six o'clock. Some watches that put it at the three o'clock, though, right? And then they just throw on like the white date wheel, and it and it's like larger than the nine o'clock indice, and it just throws off the balance. Yeah. Look at this, guys. I'm gonna pull up this chat from Brent because he's a member. That's right, guys. If you're a member, we'll pull up your chats, even if you don't super chat. So make sure if you can become a member. To become one, the lowest tier is bronze. It's $3.99, 13 cents a day per month, every month, and it keeps helps keep Archie full time on the tubes and avoids him getting a job. Brent asks, Can you buy a Longine big eye after buying a sub or is it blasphemy? No, I think it's great. I mean, I listen, you, you put a whole lot of money into a, a really, I would say, heavy hitting watch. So you get something that you can wear just as much and wear comfortably and you don't care in terms of value potential or retention you just love the thing and you'll wear it i think that for example the tuxedo dial or the other one that we pulled up from launching are amazing watches just beautiful you could Bla blasphemy would be like buying the dan henry right. after you buy it would be like a squale like or a dan henry <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> pound the drums 
two dollars. <laughs> Pull up the Seiko SRP05. Just bought one. Don't tell Arch. S- <laughs> Can you read that off to me? SRPE. Or <laughs> five. I I hope Arch checks in and just lays you guys it know what I'm gonna just... say, right? You know who li- who loves this watch? Uh, what's his name? Timeless Watch Channel. Olsen. Yeah. Oh yeah, Olsen. Yeah. He said he bought one and he loves it. It's 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 becoming one of his most wrist timed watch. I think it's forty five mil though. It's a pretty big watch. You know I don't like green. So that's my only thing. But the blue one here. Here, let me pull up this picture. I don't like the this size. Blue, the size. This blue one is actually quite nice. I don't I don't mind this blue one. Can you double we check got, the size, Marco? When you get sure, change? sure, sure. Give me one second. We got Style mm-hmm. Collector five dollars. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, Style dollars, Collector. Yeah. I really do appreciate it. And Watches and Giggles, thank you so much, Watches and Giggles, $5. Guys, Watches and Giggles has a phenomenal channel. If you're not subscribed, make sure to go check them out if you can. My Tudor GMT is great for a beater. I play golf in it, swim in it, take it on vacations. I don't have to worry about scratching it. Just enjoy it. Well, you yourself, JJ, have a Tudor GMT, right? And that's also your beater watch. How do you feel about it? I agree exactly with what he's saying. I could care less if it gets scratched. It hasn't gotten scratched yet. I mean, it's a tough watch, but, you know, I mean, listen, I'm not running into rocks with it, but it's definitely the watch of choice over it's scratching up my uh, sermon. And do, it's an do you feel, beater. Do, do you feel that, that having the Tudor GMT, does it end up stealing precious wrist time from the Bruce Wayne? Or would you, nope. if you weren't wearing, you know what I mean? Like the times that you... The times you, I'm wearing it, there'd be no shot I'm wearing the it, Bruce Wayne. Exactly. Okay. Okay. I, I'm, so I'm not. Scr- I have, if there's a possibility it's going to get scratched up or yep. bang, banged into a shopping cart, yeah, I'm not wearing it. Even without yeah. the Tudor, you wouldn't wear the Bruce no, Wayne. No, I, I, yeah. no. Yeah, there's yeah, no yeah. way. I, I wouldn't wear it either way. Okay. The only watch I really worried I wouldn't worry about. Sorry to cut you off, Marco. Is this? No, no, no worries. And the um, believe it or not, even though it's expensive, I just think it kind of looks cool. A little bit of a beating is the uh, the Gross. Bond uh, Seamaster. Look at this. David ends his Longine pink eye. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. Don't be nasty. we got Bear Clooney in the house. Bear. Rawr. He says, please upvote these awesome guys. Thank you so much, Bear. There's and a we bear got in the house. Thank you. Our good friend. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Level 999. Two euros. Yaw Master Rhodium 40 and Brege Type 20 or Batgirl. No Ooh. such thing as a Batgirl. Let me tell you something. Whole, First of all, whole, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole community knows it as the bat girl. I've got to say. Yeah, but no you go to you, you go to Rolex's website and you type in bat girl, you know what comes up? Effing nothing. nothing Cause it's never identified as a girl. Right. If you type, you type in Batman, it'll come yeah, up. Yeah, that's oh, right. Do the other nicknames show up? Uh Batman does. Hulk doesn't. Um, maybe that was why uh, AP figured they'd make that move. Hulk mm. doesn't, but some of the other ones some of the other ones do. So he's got a Yaw Master Rhodium 40, and he's asking, does he get a Brege Type 20 or a Batgirl or a Bruce Wayne? No, My thoughts on, are, if you have the, the opportunity the to get the Bruce two, Wayne, the first I two or the third. That's what he's saying, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. You're doing a, a oh, two-piece two combo piece. meal. Get the two-piece. Or... Get the two-piece. Get the two-piece. I'd get the Rolex. Get, yeah, get the Yacht Master 40 and the Brega Type 20 and call it a day, man. You don't need anything else. I think I think the Rolex would suffice uh, unless you need a chronograph or you use a chronograph. I don't know. I just don't understand the whole thing. I'm not trying to be a dick, but like you're saying either a diver and a chronograph or a GMT. It's like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like which yeah. one do you need? I don't know. It just... It depends your lifestyle at the end of the day, for right. sure. Right, that's what I'm. Yeah. That's what I'm confused about. Like, does it, I guess it doesn't matter what style of watch. My you know? my only thing is, is it's two watches versus one. To me, the two watches trump the one watch every day of the week. Oh no, I might I might trigger Tim. I just said the word trump. <laughs> I could <laughs> sometimes quality over quantity, but I you know I mean, I guess it's because you could get the Yacht Master Rhodium. At close to retail, and the 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 Batman, you can't. I mean, this Brega Type Twenty. I think, what it's a nice. phenomenal watch! Yeah, it's a beautiful watch. You like, like Type Twenty One, right? Yeah, I like the Gray Dial Twenty One. This is a gorgeous watch, also, but it's a you little bit more expensive. I'm can't find sure. it for under ten thousand. I'm not paying right. ten thousand for it. Sorry, I'm just not. But the Type Twenty. I mean, this is a watch with serious 
military history. And these can be had for absolutely, hold on, what is this? <laughs> absolutely ridiculous discounts. I mean, I like this one, the no date version. Bear Clooney also has this one. That's Archie, right? That's his, that's his shirt. Yeah, right that's there. his. Yeah, that's his. Yep. I mean, you can't <laughs> go wrong with this. For what they go, unbelievable. Yeah, it's a great watch. Beautiful watch. Super chat. I don't like. I don't love the bracelet, though. I got to be honest with you. I'd definitely wear it on a leather strap. Yeah. Watching the giggle says thanks for the kind words. You guys do a great job. Hey, no worries. Thank you so much for the super chat. Kuiper might frog two dollars. It's called Bat Human. Get with the times, Berg. <laughs> That's a good one. Never, That's good. never. Oh, that is good. <laughs> I'd ask for a quick whist watch check around the room, but of course, I'm the only one with the camera on. I'm wearing the sub. Marco, pull up the Pam three two one. Sure, sure, sure. It's a power reserve GMT. Yeah, first one I think. Let's pull this one up. It's probably cool. What do you, you think of that? I think it's beautiful. I mean, you can't go wrong with this. What's the movement inside? Do you know? No idea. Let's pull it up. Let's pull it up so we can go to. There's a site called Watchbase.com. P one search up. Search up all the uh, all the movements. Oh, it's an in-house. Yeah, it's the P9000 movement. Or excuse me, it's the caliber P9002. The base is the 9000. So it's their modified in-house movement. Yeah, it's, I mean, hey, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot go wrong with this. This is a classic pan. Luminor. Does it have screws on the lugs to take the strap on? Or Let's off? take a look. I don't know if they give it. Hmm. I think it might have the push system. Yeah, so it's got the push system. You see that? Oh, okay. So this is a little different. Cool. But yeah, nice watch. We've got Ramsey, $3. Mono face reverso or spring for the duo face? Well, JJ, what do you think? You've got the single side reverso, but the back side is the movement, right? That is correct. I like seeing the movement. I mean, how many faces do you need on one watch? It's just my, right. just my. Uh, but I, a lot of people love the duo face, so it's hard to. Listen, you can't go wrong either. I actually like the single face. It wears thinner. It's more true dress watch because the reverse. Listen, I hate when people say this when they say, "Oh, the reverso was originally a sports watch." Guys, a reverso is a dress watch, plain and simple. And and, and I think that ultimately the the single face is just. A much more true dress watch, thinner profile, wears a lot smaller. So I think it's just, in my opinion, the one I would get. I like the. Wasn't, uh, it, this wasn't it for polo players? Yeah. But yeah, come was, on, you're not it was, wearing. It was, it was just the backside <laughs> was steel, so to protect. The... Right. I like but how it's also to this... go from from the country club to. Uh, mm to the field back to the country club right it's right. never it's never out of out of place i don't know. I, like, I, I like having the uh the display case back you know yeah yours is nice too it's the jlc i have the grand calendar that's great but well, you're just going to need to be yeah. careful with it when you're playing uh this polo then jj right. the, yep that's the one <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, my polo skills have been lacking, slacking anyway, you know. This is the full image. Look at that. Yeah, see, I like, I'd like. i rather see the back. That's gorgeous. And how much did you pay for that? I will never tell. <laughs> You'll never tell. But you're willing to sell for 7000 right? Uh, no, possibly, if it's someone I really like. <laughs> I'm just messing. I might be that person you really like, JJ. Just uh, keep it in the wings, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I might flick it for the pan. I don't sell it to Panera users. I might flick the pan for it. You never know. <laughs> you never, never, never know. Until until there's a paddock in my possession, it's not even a thought. Should we uh, should we talk about which one, or we're still keeping no, that? No, we should not talk about which one. Thank you. Okay. There are too many you know hunters, I like, hunters right? out there with greedy fingers. I like the fifty-two or five G. I'm just messing with you with the silver dial. Can't even find yeah. one anymore. This is my favorite one. The 5205R with the black dial. Is this one expensive, JJ? Uh, yeah. I mean, what, what do you consider expensive? 
Well, like compared to the blue or the silver dial. With the black dial like that, it's probably about forty-five thousand. Forty. Jesus. Four, maybe forty-two thousand. Not cheap. Man, it that is, is a lot cheap. of money to dish out. Right. Right. You gotta find the right deal. Right. Hundred percent. What's your thoughts on black dial dress watches? I know you prefer white, right? Uh, yeah. To me, they're more. Um, I mean, I don't consider them as formal, but That's white or off white. I think like a cream right. color is best. Yeah, white, off white, a silvery white. You know, mm. it's more, yeah. more, more formal in my eyes. This is more like a, I don't know, you're going out to dinner type of watch to me. I don't know. The black dial just make, it makes it a little more casual. We got our good friend Poor Logical Freddy Krueger saying, "My best and most loyal beater will always be my Vitenye." Vitenye, yeah, he's so. <laughs> okay, I have no idea how to pronounce that. It's a French Canadian piece. You don't know who Vitenye is? Never heard of them. You haven't been watching. You haven't been watching long enough, Marco. Okay, okay go, go back to the tapes. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. We've I gotten Jay Red. in their 20s, Vantenye. What's that? It means someone in their 20s. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Two pounds. Creator, spring drive, minute repeater, thoughts? I mean, to dish out the kind of money it would cost you. Oh, to get Archie a wants drive. the link. Archie wants Ooh, the link. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh. Big... Disregard Big everything trouble. we've set up until this point. Erase yeah, the long don't, jeans. Don't buy long jeans. <laughs> long jeans is a shitter brand. Don't buy Zin. <laughs> Zin is terrible. Zin is horrible. And what did Pound the Drums want us not to tell him he bought? Uh, oh, yeah. Seiko. 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 Oh, <laughs> Pound the Drums did not buy a Seiko. Hey. Hey, guys. How are you? <laughs> What's going on? How are you doing there, oh, Don? Well. Hey, hey, I just landed. I just landed here, and I'm going to get a discount diver. I'm on the hunt for the discount divers. <laughs> Any hot chicks there? No, 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 no. I'm on the hunt for a discount diver. That's what I got to do. I got to get a diver. Oh, no. Discount diver. And uh, that's the way it is. You got to get a discount. I got a better man who's a flipper. He's got to keep the AD game. He's got to get the turnover. You got to keep the turnover up. His loss is my game, you know? Archer, you're going to get a, a Super Ocean Heritage 2 for 2500 US? Ooh, that's pretty good. No, 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 no. Discount diver. Tuna, 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 uh. tuna, tuna. Archer, so, why would you get the tuna? Don't get the tuna. The man who told you. Gotta have a discount he, diver. He says, told me the uh, AD told him they're gonna be making the burgundy obsolete. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Get... So you flick it in a couple months. Thirty five hundred bucks US. And you can't go wrong. What do you reckon? He got a discount. It's one month, one week old. Because he's got to do the turnover. You know, to play the AD games, you got to get the turnover. You got to get the numbers. They want sales. Because they're a business. Is that the smiley face one, Arch? No, 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 no. That that's the EDA movement. I'm going for in-house, in-house. Mm -hmm. Same movement in the Breitling. The Breitling. Okay. So guys, I got to shoot off. I got to go and pick up a discount diver. It's all because of you, Marco. <laughs> Don't <laughs> get it, Arch. <laughs> You're the one who said you need a you need a luxury diver and you need a discount diver. Two piece meal deal combo hunger buster. The <laughs> hunger buster. The KFC meal deal. There you go. Go have Look, I really I want to make some videos. I've got to tell you the truth. Look at this. Explorer 2, Speedy, and a discount diver tutor. Three-piece combo meal deal for all occasions. What do you think of that? No, I think that the yeah. the better That's collection was the uh, the Speedy or the Bre uh, the Breguet Type 20, the Reverso, yeah. and the, the Polar Explorer. That's the best three-piece. Ah. More money though. He's moved on from that though. Yeah. 
Anyhow, I got to do it. I got to do it, man. I got to do it. I got I to gotta pay for this Birkin. I got to flip it. I can flip it later to help pay for the Birkin. That's you it. Know. Just <laughs> you, buy, you, buy them all. Do you want to know the truth, guys? Go on. Instead of spending such a big amount of money, you should give flowers for a year. You'd get more mm. kudos. Like, it, I can just feel the kudos is wearing off. I only just gave it. You know what I mean? Right. Arch, let like, me tell you, no worries no worries on paying off the Birkin if they become members, right? Make sure to remind people to become a member if they're not a member already. Exactly, memberships. We need memberships. Memberships, guys. Memberships. It's, it's going up. We've got some exciting stuff happening. I've got very exciting stuff happening. Very exciting. Very exciting. So, guys, i got to jump on the train. i got to get this discount diver. I'll be broadcasting tomorrow. Don't worry. Broadcasting tomorrow. And, um, guys, you've got to get discount divers, discount divers. This is the thing. What? It, otherwise, it's missing in your life. What do you think? What about long jeans, Arch? Should we get long jeans? Ooh, <laughs> that's nasty. Vicious nasty. and nasty. I mean, right. discount. It's got to be decent, doesn't it? You know? Right. No, no, nothing lower than a super ocean heritage. That's the bottom you can go. Oh, no. I think you could. Is a Tudor lower than that or not? No, 2,500. Kuiper Mike Frog just got one. 2,500. Super Ocean Heritage 2. Blue, 42 mil. Brand new. 4,200 US. Where from? No, 2,500 US. I don't know. Where from? He didn't say. I don't know. Very That's quickly, we got guys. a super chat. Tongo Bongo, two dollars. The angle really brings out the size of the horns. Come on, guys! Don't guys, be nasty. I gotta go, guys. I gotta go. I gotta go and hunt down a discount diver. I'm already here. What, what do I do? Do I get the diver? I mean, you can't tell me no, no, don't do it. I already bought the tickets. Just do it, Arch. Just do it. You're beyond the point of no return at this point. Exactly. That's it. Okay, guys. Ciao, ciao. All right. Take care. <laughs> Unbelievable. So he spends oh, how much in plane tickets plus <laughs> two days in travel? And how much are you gonna sell it for? I hope he makes at least a thousand on it for all that work. Jesus Christ. I think he's just a little bit bored if we're being honest with one another, JJ. He's yeah. got he, he he's got an itch that needs to that needs uh to be scratched. Maybe he doesn't like the kudos so much. He's gotta get out of the house. He's rebuilding much. his old collection, I'm telling you, it's yeah. what it is. Right. Yep. The Polar Explorer 2, the Burgundy Tudor. <clears throat> What else? The the he's, got another, another he's, got, he's got the steel sub as opposed to the gold one. Well, yeah, but that, I'm saying that that don't even really it come in. But the Speedy, the the Black Bay, and the Explorer Two is his is his original three piece like lower tier uh, watches that he had, right? And then he got the Breitling. He Wait, had a mill What was the three? The three exact ones he had were the Speedy. The Black Bay Burgundy and the Explorer. All right, he has a, he had the bigger Explorer now, but those were the three exact ones. Then Burbank Hard's right. He had the Millie, but he had the black dial. Now he's got the Z Blue, and the sub the, the gold sub was before that though. Um, all he needs next is a Brig A Type Twenty. Is going to be coming his way, and the Super Ocean Heritage. JJ, tell me, tell me, tell me. What if I get a three piece combo, a sub, a sixteen seven hundred birth year? And like some kind of like a Zenith El Primero. Good collection. That's nice. That's nice. And I flick the pan. What do you think? I, what do you think? I would I would flick the pan. I, I gotta be honest, not just good I just don't like that one. I don't like that it says black seal on it. I just No, I it's cool. Black seals the black seals are the Italian Navy. Oh, that's gay. I don't know. We got Ron the Shrink two dollars. <laughs> Please comment on collectible <laughs> market. So let's go messing. to the Gucci website, guys. Talk about mass toxic masculinity again. Oh man, Tim's gone. We don't have to do that. Oh, Aaron says, would you bring up the Creedor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me bring it up. So the, it was the Creedor minute repeater, right? Spring drive minute repeater. Let's pull I mean, system it up. <clears throat> Marco, like, should, think? Can I give you a suggestion, Marco, real quick while you look this up? Tell me oh, don't, here. Flick the tude, flick the pan. And get yourself a Brig A Type 20. That'll give you some kudos right there on a leather strap. Stop being a biatch. 
Yeah, I know. You know I like that Type 20. Huh? I've been talking about it for a little bit. It, and it's a nice chronograph. It'll go nice with your diver instead of having a fake diver and a real diver. And I could, I could flick that. Uh, I could probably flick the PAM to somebody I know. Oh, and get the Type 20 for like just a little bit more. Type 20 is gorgeous. Yeah. Good value for money. I don't know. I, I, I think I, that's what I would do. I'm just, I, I'm just being honest with you, you know. But it's a discount diver. Pam is a good discount diver, guys. Discount, discount. We're talking discount watches today. What do I think of this Creedor? I think that, I think that I might have to get a lobotomy if I, if anybody gets this watch. Whoever gets this watch needs to get a lobotomy because they got serious mental problems. I mean, Jesus Christ, guys. You gotta have rocks in your head to get this. Looks decent, but how much is it? I mean, minute repeater. I mean, I can only let's pull it up. Let's pull it up. Monochrome watches. But yeah, ABC. The, these ones are up market from Grand Seiko's. Yeah, this seems you know beautiful to look at. Kind of mesmerizing. If you look at the movement in action. Yeah, they're they're not cheap. Probably tens of thousands. I wonder what yeah. kind of minute repeater it is. Yeah, and they're some some of them are not the are price? not easy to get either. Why aren't they saying the price? Price available on request, and you know it's a and it's spring drive. Ooh, four hundred and forty thousand yeah. yeah, US are... dollars. I, I mean, be, you gotta yeah. seriously, guys. I mean, if you even consider this, you have to be absolutely insane. I mean, you can probably get a Jorn minute repeater. For probably the same money or similar money, can you? I don't know. Like something like this. You or this? Get whatever you want for that price. I mean, four hundred and forty thousand. You can get a house, decent car, and a decent watch. Jesus. We got Double RRR five dollars. Get a Type Twenty One. Love it. Or got a Type Twenty One. Love it. Go for it, Marco. Great show, boys. Thank you so much, RR. Yeah, I mean, Thank the Type 21. I actually probably... Do I prefer it? Let's see. That's what Showcase likes. Type 21. <laughs> type 2 diabetes came up. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a comparison? Look at that. Yeah, I like the Arabics on the 21. <clears throat> oh, I think I like the Type 20 better. Just simple, no-date version. Just wind if and wear. If if you got this one though instead of the Zenith, it would give you a, a steel bezel. You'd have an aluminum bezel and then a ceramic bezel. I prefer the over the open heart. Mm. I'll tell you that. That's very true. Three different bezels, right? The Zenith's the iconic movement. Iconic three two uh three six nine chrono. Right. But this also, to be fair, this has a Lamagna based movement, so it's not bad at all. You know why I would get this? I'll tell you why. Because the one you really want is that really expensive one. Um, what's the Zenith that you really want? The boutique edition. Oh yes, yes, yes. yes I would yes, just yes. wait until you get older and have like a lot of money and buy it. <laughs> you know what this I mean? This is the one. This is my favorite one. The tricolor subdials, the manufacturer Ooh. edition, thirty-eight millimeter size. I think it's gorgeous. Okay. But these sell for over retail. I mean, you gotta have serious, serious rocks oh, in it. You definitely need gorgeous. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, but when you get older and you have some money, what's the difference? You just buy it. JJ, you need a serious, serious, serious psychological help if you're getting Zenith over retail. I mean, <laughs> JJ, come on, man. Listen, hey, sometimes if that's, that's what like it getting, costs, then you really want it. That's like getting insider information on stock info and not capitalizing on it. Hmm. I mean, you just know this thing is gonna this thing is gonna tank. How about Kathy One. Wood just came out today and said bull case for Tesla four thousand? I know she's fucking crazy, man. She makes me nervous. Yeah, they said she was crazy when she pr priced it last time, and she got it exactly right three years later. Yeah, there is no penalty for insider trading trading on Bitcoin. Correct, 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 correct. <laughs> hey, I gotta take off though, guys. Good show. Hey, no worries. Thank you so Good much for joining us. Moving on. I appreciate See you it. Later. Look at this. This is not nothing to to sneeze. At. I mean, Brega is an excellent movement maker. Or er, excuse me watchmaker it's still a gorgeous looking movement and even though you don't get to see it it's quality stuff 
Okay, it's a cam's chronograph. Fair enough, cam's chronograph. Ooh, do you get a sapphire case back on the Type 21? Maybe if you get a sapphire case back, then it's a lot more money, right? Than the 20, though. Doesn't matter. Ooh, you have to get the Type 21 then. You, dream. Come on. you got the you got to get the sapphire. You know, I always recommend. I mean, let's let's pull this up. Type 21. Reggae. Splinter, how much did you get yours for? I can't find one under ten thousand. Let's pull them up. With the gray dial, anyway. Look at this. These are Canadian, right? Canadian pesos. Hmm. No, but these have a. Why do these have a? What's it called? Look at this. Why does it have a non-display back? I think you got to find the one with the gray uh, dial. Okay, okay, hold on. Like this one here? I can't see which one. No. There's not a gray dial. It's, it's, no, it's got a tinge of brown and it's like got. Right. It's got like. Uh, patina, yeah, it's Arabic. got like between the numerals. Like this one here. I think so, yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah, this is the one. There you go. 13,000 Canadian. That's not that bad. It's like 10,000, right? Right, 10,000 US. Look at that. Ooh, that's Look gorgeous. At, ah, fantastic. Look at that. It's beautiful. I mean, this it's... is less than what I paid for my Submariner. Hmm. I have it sitting in my Chrono 24 shopping cart for the last five months. What do you think? This or a Sub uh, or a Speedy? The new one? Sapphire Sandwich or Hesolite? New Sapphire Sandwich. And it's still 3000 more. They don't really compare, JJ, let's be honest. Hmm. The Brega is so much better. What's I mean, retail? look at this. What's the retail on this watch? I'll pull that up. Can we... I never even looked at the retail. <laughs> That's some super chats, Marco. Give me one second. So it's saying it is, it is, it is 13,500 euros. Do we know how much that roughly is? 13,500 what? Euros. About 10,000 US? 16,000 US. 16,000. Yeah, that's what it retails for. So six thousand dollar discount. That's not bad. For logical Freddy Krueger, two dollars. Agree or disagree? No hymen, no diamond. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never heard that expression before. <laughs> this is the first wow. time ever. Oh, yeah, that's funny. a good one to use on like your plenty of fish uh, profile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. We got Toyota Mo. Thoughts on the BC three one one zero V? Pull it up, big boy. Where's it? Where's it? Three one. Four two six, right? Splinter, how much you pay for yours, buddy? Is that the one you have with the gray? Oh, this is the triple calendar. You know how much I love this watch. Yeah, this is your fave. Oh, this is an incredible watch. Look at these, the teardrop lugs. And then let's just show this case back. You get, you see right over here, like the middle, in the middle on the left, you get a small seal next to the 3110V. That's the Geneva seal. You got a Geneva seal case and a Geneva seal movement. The finishing is exceptional. Triple calendar from Vacheron. I think is the second best of the Holy Trinity. And man, I got to tell you, this is just, this is, this is when you know you're a real watch enthusiast. You can buy a watch like this. That's a beautiful a watch. A watch. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. When they do these like full dress watches, I'm not knocking it. I'm just curious. Why do they go with like the red, white, and blue like accents? And then you have like the off white, you know, dial. Is there a thing with oh, that? That's probably how they used to be. 
Right. I'm pretty sure. Here, hold on. I feel see. like it's a bit bright for a dress watch. I don't think it's bad looking. I think it's very nice looking. I'm just curious where that kind of came from, that look, because I've, I've noticed that in quite a few like watches that are almost dress watches but have a, a splash of red, white, and blue in them, almost like sporting them up a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's based on a historical model, but it might be because of that. I like this one better with the blue outside track. Did I say X or did I say ask? Ron the Shrink is saying I said the word is ask. <laughs> I have I no think, idea. I don't think I ever say X. I might have that time. Toyota Mosa D80 had the blue one. Absolute stunner. Man, I think that would go phenomenal with a nice Rolex collection. Because you need something a little different. Too much Rolex are just... Uh, it's too much. You know what I'm saying? It's too much. Too much Rolex is too much. You got to get some points of difference in the collection. Look at this. We got a nice message from Anthony Napolitano. Marco, you and Tim Masso are a couple of the best influencer going around. No Lolex Punjabing. <laughs> I mean, guys, I don't do this this live from alone. I got my main man from New York, JJ LeCou, the one and only. Hello, hello. We got our man from Britain, ABC. We got Lolex up in California. We got the Don himself, Archie Luxury. We don't mention Tim. He's got he's the guy that we keep stored away from everybody. <laughs> I'm just mentioning. And, and ABC Tim actually Tim ABC actually home. knows his watches too very well. Correct, correct. <laughs> Unlike me, who knows. And ABC is not uh, only Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. He likes other he has very diverse and very good taste. We got Bear Clooney. He's got an amazing channel. We mentioned watches and giggle showcase watches. There's a mon a bunch of great influencers out there. We got but Rolex, I appreciate the Rolex in the in the chat. Oh, we also I really do appreciate the compliment. And he says, gets boring talking about low like natural. I agree. You need some points of difference. Right. And RR so, said 10 and change, by the way. I'm pretty sure this is the break. Yeah, he, he has a type 22, though. Can we pull that up? I'm just curious about that. Sure, 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 sure. Freshen me up on it. All right. So now that you've read that nice, um, you know, comment, let's talk about some Rolex. Uh, no, <laughs> just, just kidding. Reggae type 22. What do you think? It's cool. I'm still a 21 fan. I'm very hard to break. Once I like something, that's it. I'm like locked in. There's no. It's like my women. That looks a bit like a uh, Girard Perigo, the Ferrari ones. It looks. Oh it reminds me. Of that. Uh, yeah, remember the. Uh, you could get those really cheap now, right? You couldn't Ridiculous. even get them. You had to buy that certain Ferrari to get them. Now it's like, you could get them like 30. They can't give of, them of the original price. Yeah. What's going on, fellas? What up, Lolex? Hey, Lolex. What do you got there? Ooh, oh, look at what we've got. She's 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 right. This watch check. Look at that two piece combo. That's get the icons, good. guys. Yeah, this guy listens nice. to Archie. He gets the icons. It is all you need, boys. Two piece. Two piece and the a Porsche. Rolex has got the speedy back, having lost it or let go of it, so it's even sweeter. Not bad on the wrist. A little big, but not bad. No, it's actually, not. it fits no, it's perfect. Not. You know what'll no, make perfect. it perfect? You know what'll make it look a little big. smaller on the wrist? You throw it on a leather strap. I think you sent us a picture, but it, it was probably a bad angle, Lolex, because it looks it's, perfect it's on that. Yeah, I think it looks great. Okay. It's like photos make it just is distorts it where it makes it look huge when you take it like from that angle. So you really need to see it like on the body and with everything. Mm -hmm. We got like Toyota Mo saying, "Hell yeah, Alice K, congratulations! It. Keep it. It's perfect. Thank you. I got such a great deal on it." <laughs> That makes it Insane. even sweeter. Barrett Looney, two top icons. That's right, guys. You got to get the icons, the icons when building out the collection. Two now, let, the me you, let, let me ask you guys. Let me ask you guys. Those two watches, in my opinion, are great investment type watch, right? A sub is for obvious reasons, and a, a speedy is a, a watch you're never going to lose your shirt on as long as you buy it well, right? Yeah. yeah. Now, they're not the best investment vehicles, right? They don't compare to the S&P. They don't compare to Bitcoin's returns over the last 10 years, which is, what is it, like 200% a year? Oh, thank over God. the last Sorry. 10 years. I don't, I don't mean to be a guy, and I know you're in the middle of a sentence, but I bought, so when I bought my watch, right, they didn't give me the hang tags. Store policy, they won't <gasps> let you take the hang tags with you. Um, sure. So I was flipping out because I was like, okay, well, I need to at least see a photo of the hang tag to make sure the serial number works. <laughs> and I got it. So I know it, it's matching serial number, but they wouldn't let me take it. It was like store policy. Oh, that sucks. I mean, it does it be, suck? 
Yeah, but no, your, no. Uh, the serial number should be on your warranty card as well, though, right? It's on the warranty card, but I just want to make sure that it's all right. But they I mean, take that hat and tag so you don't sell it. Will, as new. Will, they take, will, they let you, will they let you take it after six months or something like that? No, not at all. They just don't. Bin them. It's like JJ said, they just don't want you to resell it. Because I got it for such an insane deal. Right. Like insane. That they just they don't want you to resell it. Yeah, they don't want you to sell it as new. So without the hang tag, you have to sell it used condition. Correct. That's mm -hmm. the whole deal mm -hmm. with that. I mean, they don't really want you to sell it at all and flip it, but they know you'll be less likely to flip it if you can't mark it as new. Okay. Well, we got Toyota Mo two dollars. Congratulations, Lolex. Thank you so much, Toyota Mo. And we got Jay Wright. We got that's it. Or two two euros. Jesus, two pounds. That's it tonight, Marco. You are now a made man. Thank you so much. I appreciate and that. David. Now, oh, sorry, sorry. Go on, go on. I'm being loud. Oh, here. Go ahead. Oh, so he asked discount on MSRP. Yeah, big discount. Big shout out to Alex. Should I say how much it was or just keep it up? No, no, don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Yeah, let's, let's just keep it on the rocks. Yeah. Got a good deal. That's Got it. a good deal. All we have to say is oh, Alex K in the chat is an absolute legend. He's a legend. Okay, guys, the reason I bring up investments, investing in watches, right? It might not be the best vehicle. It might not be, you know, th there are better things out there, point blank period, right? If you factor in opportunity costs, return on investment, you factor in time value money, so on and so forth, right? But I have to say, there's one thing I hate, and we've been having this discussion with James, right? Oh, you shouldn't invest in watches. And Tim also had a live stream today. Oh, watches make for a terrible investment. I hate this idea. I mean, what's the big deal with investing in watches? You want to invest in watches. Why not? At least they're fun. You can wear them. You can easily transport them. And you can enjoy the bloody things as opposed to S&P 500 index ones. I have those. Those are boring. I can't do anything with them. But yeah, but you're, then your watches are your hobby. They're not your investment vehicles. Yeah, but why, why can't they be both? Why can't they be both? Because... If you if you if you prioritize buying one that's going to make you a profit over buying one that you like, it takes the fun out of it. Look at this fluted bezel. It can be both. What? Bezel, thank you so much for the membership. I really do appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. There you go. Anthony Napolitano says it perfectly. They are passion investments. Yeah, but Bear Clooney says I agree with Marco. And Bear's word is about everybody else's. Guys, what? I think they can be both passion pro passion investment, and I think they can also be – what's it called? They can also be investments. Why not? Why not invest in watches? Get in a watch investment portfolio. Again, you well, might not make wrong the best return. buying smart, right? I mean I right. do anything smart. I buy anything smart. I mean – that's the name of the game, but yeah, I, I, I guess I, I see what you're saying, but the only thing is like, it's tough to say, like, what are you going to do? Hold it 20 years, and what if Rolex is not cool in 20 years, and you lose everything? You know what I mean? Well, JJ, what happens, what happens if you hold well, Apple? What happens if you hold Apple in 20 years? That, well, that's what happens in 20 years, it, it goes to shite, you know what I mean? Like, you could say that about so many things. It would never yeah. happen, right? But I well, mean, Apple Rolex would never is... happen. Rolex could go out of style easily. It's not the same thing. It's you, you, but I, I, I get always... your argument, but you, right. you know what I mean. You're, you're talking the most powerful company in the world versus. I agree. I agree. It, well, they're know, the most powerful pa watch company in the world. Well, yeah, but ten years ago, Panerai was nobody would ever say uh, Panerai was uh, going to go down. You know. Right, but but my point is, Rolex has always been very consistent. Consistent, right? They've always been right. around. At the very least, they've always had a following. Uh, and that's the difference between like Panerai, IWCs. Those are very fad and and like more cult-like followings, right? The the they'll experience very big swings in terms of when people want them or not. But Rolex is pretty consistent in terms of their return over time. Well, and they I'll have a pretty good way. proven track record, right? I'm I'm not saying you shouldn't buy a watch that let's say that's an investment. Like let's say I could get a pan at retail, right? Which I wish I could, but let's just say I could. I'm 100% grabbing that as an investment. You know, I also would like it to have it, but I, that's not going to be the only things I buy. You know what I mean? I'll still buy a watch that I might lose money on because I like watches. You know what I mean? I'm not going to let it. I'm not going to let the fact that it might not be a good investment stop me from buying what I enjoy. Also, you know what I mean? So you got to you got to kind of do half and half. Like, would you only buy a watch that'll go up in value? Would you ever buy a watch that you just really liked and want to wear? 
for the next 20 I, years. <laughs> I just bought a Speedmaster. Those don't really right. go up in price. I got my pen. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So that's that's not an investment piece. So you got to kind of right. What, someone but, asked but me, would I flip the pen or hold it? No, I'd hold it. I'd hold it because I want to own it. Right. Well, Speedy's done tank like other Omegas or other brands like IWC and things like that. So it's still a relatively stable piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you'll still lose your shirt on if you buy new. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was ready to go full retail on mine. Who does Bear Clooney watches? I you have never, watches you never go full retail. <laughs> yeah, I was about to. No, you know that movie? You know, they say you never go full retail. You never go full retail. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> you never go full retail. Yeah, that's fine. Bear Probably Clooney thunder. watches. <laughs> I have watches purchased exclusively as an investment. My investments are real estate, stocks, mutual funds. GICs and watch I don't know GICs a very good global event. industry yeah. classification standards Marco okay sorry I thought it was you know what I'm talking about GIC is like when they fix your money for like one percent they're absolute garbage oh maybe that is maybe that is what he has. I don't know could be something different it might it might be it's like you can't quote unquote lose your money your money saves stupid they lock oh, it your keeps money up with in inflation class. right it's like an inflation right. proof exactly well that's more of like when you have a lot of money and you want to protect some of it that's what you do Correct. Toyota Mo says, I think Tim Masa was getting some of his clients calling him after spruiking shitters. All right, yeah. And now these companies are going under. So you had to make a, a video about watches not being investments. <laughs> yeah. Me and Toyota Mo, Toyota Mo said in the chat, I love using hit watches as a hockey puck. Same here. I love them to use them as catch, to, to play catch. Oh, there you go. David Ganji coming through with the knowledge. Guaranteed investment certificate. Under 2% return annual life right. for five years. Correct. Usually, it's it's that's what a GIC in Canada is. All right. They're shooters. Mm -hmm. Don't get GICs. Absolute garbage, guys. I'm not a financial advisor, though. <laughs> but but hit. Let's pull up hit. Oh my goodness! What an absolute disaster! Can you imagine? He spruks these things one month, and then the next month, they're out of business. They're gonzos. There's no more revenue. That's look why you things. need to listen to Archibald Chesterfield the third. Look at this. I mean, what are you going to do with this watch? It's yeah, but like it's your own fault for listening to him. If you bought this listening to Tim Maso, shame on you. Look at this shitter. Who would buy this something like this? Like, <laughs> what the heck is that? It looks like it came out of a gumball machine. But like, look at this. Why would you ever buy this? I mean, you have to have serious, serious rocks in your head, man. Hmm. Stick with the classics. You can't get hurt. Okay. I don't understand when he goes a Pelagos can fit on a 14-inch wrist. I'm like, what? <laughs> He's spruiking to everyone. That's why. It'll yes. be like a 50-millimeter watch. It'll fit on a 13-inch wrist <laughs> easily. No problem. <laughs> Anywhere from 13 to 23. He grabs the bracelet and does his whole review like that. Right. There's no find the picture there. I'm looking for. Look at this. Ooh. 5107, I'm pretty sure. That's the annual calendar, the Reverso, the Type 20, and the AP. But this is the one. Forget the Breitling. Speedy, Polar, and Reverso. What more does a man need? What is that Breitling doing there, man? Or Come this. On. Look at this. Man, that Patek looks so small. <laughs> it yeah, looks so it, small. It? It is pretty small. Though. That's why he should flick it. Get the gold sub back and stop pushing people out of his way. Look at this. What it's more only, does a man need? It's only 34 mil, right? His uh, annual calendar? Or it's 35. 35. 35. 35, isn't it? Oh, it's 35? Jesus, I thought it was 37. That's even yeah. worse. Yeah, man. No, his 5196 is 37. The 5027 is 37. Look at this. I mean, what more does a man... I look at that collection. That's all you really need. Oh, you need a sub. Yeah, fair enough. One sub, one GMT, one chronograph, and one dress. Yeah. No discount of anything, or no double up. Those four. Lilux, let me ask, how does it feel to have the Speedy back in the collection? 
Feels good, man. Feels good. I got the photos of the hang tags and everything looks legit. Serial numbers match and everything, dude. It's awesome. Right. Nice. Yeah. And that was your first luxury watch, right? Um, hold on, sorry. Uh yeah, the uh Speedy was the first watch I bought. Um in yeah, my first luxury watch. I bought it pre owned in two thousand fifteen and it was a horrible condition. Didn't come on a bracelet, banged to shit, a lot of dents on it. So it wasn't that great of a deal. Like twenty five hundred I think I paid for it. Um and I ended up selling it for twenty five hundred flat. Uh, but I still loved it and it was so awesome. I love the way it fits on my wrist. It's a nice big watch. It's awesome. And, uh, I, I knew I wanted to get another one again. Like when I bought my Rolex, I was like, okay, I'm going to add a speedy to this at some point. And it was always at some point, at some point, at some point, because they're easy to get. You can get them anywhere. You can go to any AD, pick one up. It's not a Rolex. But when the new ones came out and I saw the price hike and I was like, I'm not going to pay $7,000 for a, a speedy. Um, yeah, and then Alex hit us hit me up about getting a good deal on it, so I had to pull the trigger in. I will admit well, though, I'll say, some downsides. Well, I'll say some downsides to it. The bracelet isn't that amazing, which I think we all know. The bracelet is not is that, as good. Is that the two screws on either side? Is that what it yeah, is? Yes, two screws on either side. Um with the bracelet is like nice leather strap. Yeah, this is this is probably one of those watches that looks better on the strap. I would hey, love to ask you a question though. When you were driving yeah. home, did you put this on? Of okay. course. <laughs> Don't get us <laughs> You're gonna get us no, copyrighted. Listen, strike. that was under three seconds, Marco. Such a worry wart. I count. Ooh, look at this. RRR. Five dollars. Thank you so much. Saw Bears Cartier Night. Spin wanting the Cartier Tortu Mono Pusher Chrono. Pull that beast up. Thoughts. Ooh, this is an amazing watch. Hold on. Is it solid gold or does he want steel? What do we got here? Mama Pusher. What was it? Come to you. Yeah, yeah. No, this is a. I'm pretty sure this is the collaboration between FP Jorn. Yeah, yeah. So there was a, a collaboration. I can't remember the other. This is a. Um, Cardi, oh, yeah, yeah, I know this watch. But Good it's a collaboration this. between Jorn, I think it's Vianney Halter, and somebody else, if I'm not mistaken. But I can't remember who the who the watchmakers are. I know Jorn for sure, but this is an absolutely unbelievable watch. You would think this is like a vintage watch, but it's it's modern, right? Which is, I mean, look at this movement. Gorgeous. Nice. And I'm pretty sure it's all in gold. They're in gold. These go for crazy money on the secondary market, and they're super collectible. What do you think? They got to be super hard to get, right? Very hard. I don't even know if they have. Let's pull it up. But what a what an excellent watch! If you can get your hands on one of these, you got to grab it. Grab it with both hands. I would imagine this is something you have to get sourced. Yeah, I'm assuming. Let's pull it up. Let's see. Oh no, they have one in rose gold. No, this isn't the one, is it? No. No, this is not the one. Um, let's see this. A couple of super chats when they when when you're ready. No, I think it's different. Uh, sure, 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 sure. Stop watching. Roll Lanka eighteen fifteen wrapper. Oh my goodness, wrapper pad perpetual handworks. I don't know how to describe that. I, I'm gonna get to that in one second. Kunst. Just going back to RR, what do I think of this beast? It's an absolutely unbelievable watch. I mean, you can't go wrong buying this. To me, this is just unbelievable. This is the if I can only get one Cartier, this would be the one. The best one they ever I'd, made. I'd get the Santos date. That's also a good one. Rapture perpetual. Let's put that in. I'm sure it'll come up. This is the one. Ooh, look at this. This is an absolute beast. That's awesome. Very, <laughs> I mean, very nice. 
Uh, Anything with like stars in it, it gets me right away. Yeah. I mean, Any I mean, Aventurine Dell? Yeah. The Aventurine Dells are unbelievable. Look at this. Jesus Christ. Let's pull up. We've got the side by side images. What do we think, guys? Gorgeous. Is that Dan Ross's case back? No, it's not. Uh, it's yeah, it's a hunter case back. I mean, I, the problem is, look how thick it is. I mean, it's unwearable. That's what she that's, said. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's my my only issue with it. Is it's an incredible piece of engineering and artistry, but man, how how uh, how big is this one? Um, I'm not sure. Let me pull it up. Four, pull Forty it. mil. Hodinky, Hodinky, Hodinky. It's Hodinky. All the real oh. ones now. It's Hodinky, Hodinky. 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 All right. Enough of that. I got zero. I was supposed to be gone for an hour from work. It took me two hours to get back. Did they question you? Okay. 290,000 no. euros, 20 pieces. And what's the, what's the size, man? 42 hour power reserve, 631 components. Give me the bloody size. Probably 40, 41. 41.9 millimeters and 16 millimeters thick. Ah, 16 is pretty thick. It's pretty That's vicious. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can you imagine dishing out just 229,000 euros just like that? All right. Hi hypothetical. Excuse me. Let's go for a hypothetical here. You ready? Oh, we got to read this one first. We've got Toyota Mode 2 bucks. Just sent you an email about Tim Masso and HYT. Hold on. Let's pull this up. While you're looking that up, I'm going to give you guys a hypothetical. Let's say you want an F off paddock, about 40 grand or so, 45 grand. But you don't want to spend that much money without letting some go. Do you flick? The Tudor GMT, the Reverso, the Wimbledon Datejust, and the No Time to Die Seamaster. That's a lot of watches to flick. That brings you up about 30 grand. Look at that. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this. It looks like the top of a Pepsi, a Coca Cola can. Like, what the, what the heck is that? What is this? By the way, guys, I'm going to wrap this show up at an hour and 25 minutes, so roughly in seven minutes. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it in rubber. What do you think? I mean, this is... It's terrible. Why are we wasting our pure time? Pure garbage. Here? Absolute it's... garbage. I mean, don't even don't even come anywhere near this. I'd rather get a Zin, 20 Zins, than get that. It's like those Jacobin Co. goldfish bowl watches. I hate Oh, those. my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, Lolex. It looks it looks fantastic. <laughs> Toyota Mo said he recommended that for a thirteen. Oh, there, thirteen point five millimeters. <laughs> yeah, was it UABC who rec who said he recommended a Pelagos for like an absurdly yeah. small wrist? A fourteen and a half inch wrist. I'm thinking, well, what are you talking about? Yeah, I mean that. Even the Pelagos on me wears. I mean, I don't have that big of a wrist, and it wears big. Like, I mean, pretty much the size of my sub. But. Maybe even a bit bigger, like uncomfortably big, I would say. And titanium, I don't love titanium. I don't know about you guys. Too light. Doesn't have the heft of a luxury wristwatch. I like it for the right watch. How do you like it with the No Time to Die, JJ? Say, I'm sorry, say that again. Uh, I was How do you find it? titanium on the Hold No on, Time to right, Die? Guys. I'm going to go I'm for a bathroom break. Bathroom break. I like it, but I'm not getting the full experience yet because, uh, you know, I don't have the, um, I don't have the bracelet yet. So I'm not, I'm not sure uh, how I like it once I get that on. But I mean, so far so good. It's just I have it on a boring, you know, like ten dollar rubber strap just to hold me over. Mm. So you know that Explorer I showed you, the lugs are butchered. 
Oh, they are. Uh, yeah, the top two logs are butchered. The top right and the bottom left. But the one that's slightly more, the logs look better. So I might just go that extra and get the one with just the box, but no papers, and see see what happens. So I've got thirty days to. Well, those are back. Sometimes it pays to spend a little more to get a better, better version. You know, it's just how exactly, it is. Yeah. I, th yeah, I think that's the better. There's something. I think there was, the Cyclops was a bit screwed as well. Mm -hmm. was, so I thought, no, I'm not gonna get the really bargain basement one. Right. Yeah, you're better off, I think. I they do have one full set, but that's eight thousand mm. pounds. He won't Just... budge on them. Nah. The only the only good thing is, you know, it's going to be easier if you want to resell it to have the box papers, all that stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, when mm. you're not, you know, like unless you're, I mean, as a private seller, if you don't have box and papers, it's kind of, it kind of really limits your uh, potential sales. You know. Yeah, but I'm thinking. Well, with a sub, you know, for a little bit more, I can I can get a forty mil sub ceramic. But then again, the movement of the Explorer is better. Right. And plus, it's the uh, possibility that it could get discontinued. End of the line. End of the line. Yeah. Right. Yeah, maybe a nice compromise would be to get the one in the middle. Then you know, not the most expensive, not not the least expensive. Just go like middle middle of the road. Yeah, I'll check because it's got the same quality of uh, close-ups, so I can just look at this. We got look, make a decision, right? Logan Hall, fight me dead. That ugly log drainer, portological Freddy Krueger, in other words, is making fun of you, Bear. Is he really? No, who cares? Yeah, he's got like ten people watching him right now. <laughs> I made sure to leave a dislike. <laughs> I made sure to slam the dislike button just for him. I'm just messing. I think I give a shit about those stupid idiots. What's going on, Burbing Heart? Are you still at work? Or are you back from work? What up, Bloods? I'm, I'm back from work. You still streaming? Yeah, we're still yeah, streaming, man. but we're wrapping the show up very quickly. Um, or maybe maybe we back. should stay on since he just started a live stream suppo right. supposedly. Stream spice stream spice yeah, stream. Let's, let's do a competing live stream. Let's see who gets more viewers, him or us. <laughs> who else opened the stream? The 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 varsity crew is streaming. Log the varsity crew. Dude, let's all let's all go on there and bum rush the stream. No, <laughs> I um I um I reached out to Bourbon Hard or not? Sorry, sorry, Bourbon Hard. I reached out to Tan. <laughs> I reached out to Tan because there was a someone that was impostering. Someone that made a, a fake account and they started saying stuff to him. Right. So I reached out to him to let him know. I was like, hey, dude, like that's not me. Someone else's, you know? And he was just like, it's okay, man. I, I, I didn't think it was you. But now I guess we're like kind of cool. I mean, we're not tight, but so if he wants to come on, I'm cool with that. If you guys are. Then you try to get me booted off too. I'm just guessing. Think... Tanziel is more than welcome. Listen, I know Tanziel is yeah. be Bear's friend. You know, things were said in the heat of the moment. It yeah. is what it is. It happens. Well, you know what I'm saying? I, I got a confession to make. It was actually me impersonating you, Lolex, going after him. I knew it, dude. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, Honestly, I, I got I got to tell you the truth. It was me impersonating Burbing Hard, impersonating you. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what really How happened. How funny would it be if everybody here had an alt Lolex account and oh. no one no one says it out loud, but everybody <laughs> has secretly an alt account I, that they use to bully everyone. With. Guys, don't go and do this. Don't go to Mark Stream and talk shy to him. Nah. Let's so just let them. Let's not stoop to their level. Let's be let's be a little bit wiser than they are. Let let them let them sit. That's like the guy who has a pool party and he's the only one in the pool. Let him let him do that. Um, Marco, you're muted, buddy. You're muted. I'm not muted, am I? There you go. No, you are. You're muted. You're you're muted. <laughs> no, I, you know, I, I I find it so amusing that somebody out there is thinking of Lolex while he has no idea that they even know he's around. Yeah, it, that's the funniest part that someone was. It's like I'm gonna try and ruin this guy's life. Like, I care. <laughs> <laughs> it's like and you don't even know he exists. <laughs> I don't care. I wonder what that person is honestly like. I wonder what his day to day is like. Really, it's a it's a mental illness. 
it, nah, it sucks. Imagine he's a lawyer. <laughs> he's just like a, <laughs> Shoot. a super successful person that's just like a troll in his in his <laughs> in his private life. Hmm. You never know. You never know. Yeah. So, guys, what do you think? This is a serious question. Do I flick the Tudor, the Wimbledon dial date just, the Reverso, and the No Time to Die Seamaster, and buy one F off paddock, like a real F off paddock? Yes. Okay, wait. Say say the list again. Sorry. Of which ones you want to trade? The Reverso. Okay. The Tudor GMT. Okay. The Wimbledon dial date just. And okay. the No Time to Die Bond Seamaster. I mean, the Wimbledon's going to hurt, but... That one's going to suck, for sure. Well, I mean, you know, you got to get the funds together one way or the other. Yep. That's a little over 30 grand, I bet, to put towards the watch. Let's say the watch is going to be close to 50. I think... Um, the Wimbledon's the only one that I don't think you should trade, because I like that... Aware. Like, yeah, I, I, I think I told you too. Like, if you have a day date, the date just is like a little. What's the point? Do you know what I mean? It's a little redundant. Well, I don't need the day just because I have the day date and I have the Z Blue Milgauss. You know, I could wear either one of those if I want to go steal. I'll just wear the Milgauss. That's true. Run me through it one more time. What would you have to get rid of? The only thing I'm going to do is I'm waiting till yeah. April comes because I want to see if they discontinue. The Wimbledon dial, just because you know that'll affect the sale. All right, I don't think the date just will ever jump up. By the way, I don't think it'll ever increase. Oh, if they discontinue that dial, yeah, absolutely will. Is it it's ever already going. Low? It's already going for thirteen thousand now. Interesting. Okay, go through the um, listing. Okay. All right, Wimbledon dial date just. No time to die. Seamaster. Two to GMT. And the Reverso Grand Calendar. For what? Just to get money together to buy, like, you know, an F off paddock, like a $45,000 paddock, $50,000 paddock. That would give me a little over 30, so I'd have to put in about 20, which would make it more feasible. But what would be like your everyday beater? Would you get the 41 Note 8 sub? I'd, yeah, when, when it comes, I mean, I don't really need a beater beater. I could. You know, wear my Apple Watch if I'm gonna beat something up. Right. You know what I mean? Wow. I would still have the Z Blue Milgauss, the Sermit, the Bruce Wayne, the Day Date. So I'd still have four Rolex. What else would I have? Uh the Brightling. You sh you sure you want to let go of the Reverso? Well, if I get the if I get a full dress paddock, when am I ever gonna wear the Reverso? Yeah, right. The paddock would take the place of the of the Reverso. Right. I mean, I don't have I don't have to sell all of them. I'm just you know. I think the more yeah. I sell, the more it'll help me get to you know get to that price. I like I could keep the Tudor GMT if I you know. I would the Tudor GMT and the No Time to Die are the two I think you should get rid of because they're at a point right now where you could still get your money back on them. I don't know how they're going to fare later down the line. I mean, the Tudor will probably increase, but. Mm. I don't think the crude is going to increase. I think yeah. if anything, it'll go down. I think you're at the top of the market for that, for the GMT, and then the no time to die too, maybe. So that could be a good t now could be a good time to get out of them if you were into well, anything. I, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think now would be the best time to get out of them if I was ever gonna. Um, my whole thing is, you know, it'll help get that watch. You know, it's a it's a lot it's a lot of because uh, I got money put aside for that. Yeah, you know that. The, the Paul Newman Daytona, but mm -hmm. to spend another you know forty five thousand something on another watch, it's not going to happen unless you know realistically it's not happening without me flicking some of those. Yeah, but it would really tight. There's still a couple of Bitcoin. Nah, nah, can't. Or, I can't. I can't have all that money Bitcoin. in watches. I can't have all that money in watches. It's just not. It's not feasible. Ooh, okay, not, so run us down the collection. How many would you have if you'd get that? You'd get the all right, not counting the Breitling because that's eventually going to go in another in another deal. Um, I would say, wait, hold on, let me let me pull up a picture because now I can't even remember. I didn't even realize, guys. There's a sticker left on the back here, so I'm going to do a live taking off of that sticker. Oh, live unveiling. 
All right. So basically, it would be the Seamaster, the Datejust, the Tudor GMT, and the Reversal would be gone. That would leave me with the Z Blue Milgauss. It would leave me with four Rolex the Z Blue Milgauss, the Sermit, the Bruce Wayne, and the Day Date. That's it. That's all the watches that you own? If you sell those? Right. I have, well, I have nine, but the Breitling, I'm not really counting. So I have right, eight. Right. So I would sell four. Now it would bring me to five. And you get one F off paddock and you continue to expand the, the Rolex collection. I'd have the paddock, the day date, the Sermit, the Bruce Wayne, and the Z Blue Milgauss. So I'd have four Rolex and one paddock. And then when I get the, the gold Daytona, I'd have five Rolex and a paddock. And then maybe down the track, I add one more paddock and call it a day. Hmm. I think that's, that's, that's that would a good be, idea. That would be seven watches in total. Five Rolex, two paddock. Trim the herd. I like your, it. Your, your collection's so big right now, you're forgetting the names of your own children. So time to... Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's like... Time to make the sacrifice, JJ. I'd I, I don't <laughs> mind keeping the same amount of money in the watches or adding to it. I just don't want to have a boatload of watches. You know, I don't. I don't feel like, like that would bring me to what um, five. Then if I get the speedy, it would be six. If I get the Daytona, it would be seven. Right. Right. Then if I do that other deal we were talking about, that would bring me to nine. That would be two more watches. You know what I mean? They'll come back quick. So like, I can't. I can't yeah, make every lot, move I want without getting rid of some other ones. You know. Jim Jones says, I'd like you to go for it, JJ. There we go. That's all I, I think need. So too. Yeah. I, I think mean, you have to go for it. That's you guys, you guys yeah. don't have to say yeah. yes or no exactly. You could say sell them all except uh, Seamaster maybe. Uh, I don't know, something like that. Nah, no. you don't really need a Seamaster realistically. Nah. You got, if you want to wind and wear, you got a Z Blue. You're getting a Note 8 sub, the 41. You don't need it. The only yeah. thing is my my Seamaster would be kind of like my rug my rugged looking watch, you know what I mean? Like uh, you need a speedy, dude. That's what you need, JJ. Yeah, he's gonna add the new one, aren't you? Uh that's the plan. Unless there's a type twenty one that comes up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I need a type twenty one. How useless is this loop? JJ, you look at the private chat very quickly. What'd you say, ABC? No, that was me. JJ, uh Lolex. Yeah, I was just saying how dumb this loop is. <laughs> I'm like messing around with all the stuff that comes with it. We got Bobby California, $5. Thank you so much. JJ, do you ever get the Milanese? Did you ever get the Milanese for the Seamaster Professional? I picked up the watch and ordered the bracelet, wondering the wait time, and does your rotor make noise? I haven't noticed the ro uh, rotor making any noise, and they told me eight weeks, so it hasn't been eight weeks yet. It's only been about three or four. There you go. And does your rotor make noise? Not that I've heard. I, I mean, I haven't noticed. I'll check it out more carefully, but... I've never heard this problem ever for, for Seamasters. Not even... Because they share the same movement as the wave dial Seamasters. Yeah, I don't know. I've, I haven't heard that. And I haven't noticed anything, like, in particular. I've worn it a bunch of times. I haven't noticed anything. I'll check it out, though. Hmm. What do you think? We wrap the show in rubber, Marco. Yeah, I think it's time to wrap the show up on that. Thank you so much all for coming on to the panel. Thank you very much to all the viewers. Make sure you don't go watch that disgusting log drainer live stream. <laughs> or if you do, stop by, slam the dislike button, unsubscribe, and leave. And of course, guys, thank you all for joining me, everybody in the chat, everybody on the panel. Thank you to everyone who super chatted, who became a member. Guys, for as little as $4 a month, you can help keep Archie full-time on YouTube. That's right. He doesn't have to get a nasty jab, a jab. Mm -hmm. So, guys, if you can, if you can, make sure to sign up for the membership. Thank you all so much for joining me, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Later, fellas. Rolex.